and love. I myself also am a man. A certain vessel descended, as it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners, upon the which, when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven. What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. This was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come into the house where I was sent from Caesarea unto me. And the Spirit bade me go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. Do you know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation? But God has showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore came I unto you without gainsaying as soon as I was sent for. I ask, therefore, for what intent ye have sent for me? Four days ago I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour I pray in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in a bright clothing and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thine arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa and call hither son, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside, who, when cometh, shall speak to thee. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee. Now, therefore, we are all here present before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say, ye know, 
which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but to witnesses chosen before of God, even unto us, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick and dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. The word of the Lord. How did he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then, as God gave them the like gift, as he did unto us who did believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What was I that I could withstand God? Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. I lived on the shores of Lake Galilee in the town of Capernaum. At that time, the Roman Empire controlled all of Palestine. Although I am a Jew, I worked as a tax collector for King Herod of Galilee, who paid tribute to the Roman government. My cooperation with Rome made me an outcast in my own community. However, when Jesus the Christ looked at me and said, Follow me, I left everything and became one of his disciples. My name is Matthew. I am writing this gospel to show through the writings of the law, the prophets, and the Psalms that Jesus of Nazareth is the long-awaited Messiah.
account of the Gospel according to Matthew. A record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, the son of Abraham. 